Let's address axes labels. It's one of the questions that often comes up, especially when I'm working with like traditional academics who have been uh, trained that every axis in your chart must be labeled. Look, sometimes this is just a bit too obvious, right? Like if your X axis is months of the year, January, February, you don't need an axis title that says months. Kind of redundant, just distracting and actually taking up some valuable real estate in your chart. So if it's going to be evident, I'd rather we just don't have an axis label at all. Let, let that axis be clear on its own. It's doing a fine job at that. Uh, sometimes, though, people think that the y-axis needs to be clarified, and that can often be the case. We're talking about units of something. People need to know what these units are. Um, but the, I, the traditional idea is that the axis label goes like vertical next to those um, numbers or percentages, and then that makes it a little bit more challenging to read. Also, just design-wise, it's kind of awkward to know where to put that so that it looks good. Um, so it just has design implications in addition to some legibility implications. So options. Sometimes if it's just, um, a, if it's units and I need to say something like um, antibody units, I will take that axis, rotate it so that it's horizontal and stick it up next to the highest number on that Y axis scale. So if the highest number is like 9,000, I'll put antibody units right next to that 9,000 so that the top entry on the scale includes the unit. Super cool idea. I love it. I think it's really pretty too. Another idea, use your subtitle space. So you've got that real estate up at the top where you're already telling people your important point. Use the subtitle to tell them what the units are. That way, the context for understanding the graph that comes below is right up there at the very top of your graph. And that's especially a great place to do it if you need to identify both of your axes, like if you've got some kind of scatter plot or something. That's the place where you can say what both of them are, all right? So the general idea is avoid an axis title if it's really obvious obvious. Use your title space to tell people what you're talking about so you don't need an axis title at all. So it's just evident. But if you do have to have one, think about how you can make it horizontal and either embedded as a part of your, of your numbers on your scale or as part of your subtitle.